Well, it's 12.59, but since this is the last session, we can start a minute ahead, right? One minute ahead. I see in Ronaldo say, let, let we make the last three the most like goal. 600 plus likes, well, yeah? Remember to tell the new people who come in now to press like. Let's get the show on the road. You all see me question. You all can start to put the answers one time. How ready are you for SEA exams on Thursday? Are you feeling excited? Are you feeling ready? Are you, is your heart beating fast? Are you impatient to get into the exam room and get it done with? Every time I talk to an SEA student, they always like, I can't wait to finish SEA and lime and play and thing afterwards is they, they, they were the parents looking forward to se but the student is looking forward to after se anyhow guys let me go so a subtraction question you know we call this around here cake and ice cream let me just make sure i do this subtraction wrong and then i'm not embarrassing myself in front of 188 people here so two from five is three, four from seven is three, eight from thirteen. When I took one from the thousands section, I am getting three, five, three, three. Yep. Uh, right in the right in words, right this in words. So this is this is thirty two thousand comma five hundred. And forty six, five hundred and forty six. Nice. So some people really SB. It may be a little too late to get the SEA bank now. All are sold out from any student hub. We just have a few from any student hub again. Maybe like about ten, literally about ten. And they are available in bookstores all over the place. You have to go and find it. Some of the bookstores have it sold out. So an octopus has eight tentacles. How many tentacles will? 15 octopuses have the plural of octopuses, octopuses. I guess they want us to multiply 15 by 8. <clears throat> 15 by 8 is the same as 3 by 8, and then you multiply that by 5. Or you can just multiply 8 by 5 is 40. You buy that is that. So is that 120? That's a lot of tentacles there, bro. And let's go on into number 4 to the nearest tent. This is not the tent. Column, eh? this is the hundreds. So if you want to go to the nearest tenths, we are watching here. Then you look at the number that comes afterwards. Look at the number that comes afterwards. And since, since that number is uh, more than five, it means that we're going to give that six a little boost, boost by one. So it turns to 4.7 to the nearest 10. Very good chat. What number is represented by 6 times 1,000 plus 7 times 10 plus 3 times 1 tenth? Well, we'll see that we have up to the thousands and we have up to the tenths. So thousands, and this is four numbers, and tenths mean we have a decimal there. So we have 6 by 1,000, 7 by 10, and 3 here. 3 by 1 tenth. All the others will have to be zero so this is six zero seven zero point three we love it we love to see it and the chat is smoking right now oh boy like as he is as he is this week boy how are you moving so quick i've never seen faster movements in the chat just answers i mean g following our diffractions below in descending order beginning with the largest begin with the largest descending order going down so we're looking for an lcm here and the lcm for sure is 15. We could just watch that and be like, 15. <laughs> 5 could go into 15. 3 times 3 by 3 is 9. 3 could go into 15. 5 times 5 by 1 is 5. 15 could go into 15. 1 times 1 by 8 is 8. So the largest one, largest, begin with the largest, is this guy. Because 9 is the highest number. So we put 3 fifths, followed by 8 fifteenths, of course. And then don't put this. Remember to put the 1 Third. One third. Put the original fractions, right? Love it, love it, love it. Nice, nice. I see incorrect things in each other there. So Anna is dividing up some cake into 12 slices. She gives she gives two thirds of the cake to her friend 
how many slices of cake does Anna give to a friend? Well, two thirds of 12 will be eight. Eight slices there, friend. That is so generous. So, friend, pull a eight slice day, sis or bro. Eight slices. <clears throat> they didn't ask how much he keeps for herself, eh? One of the most notorious. Woo, we have good with our people already. 344. You have to press like on the video. The goal today is to try and reach at least 500 likes. Let me see if you could make that goal. How many slices of cake does Anna give to her friend? Not how many slices of cake she remains with. One of the most notorious mistakes, Carissa, easy on the spamming. One of the most notorious mistakes is in this question. Sometimes people put the remainder because they're so accustomed to ask for the remainder, remainder. Or sometimes they ask the remainder and people put the original value. So make sure you read this question properly. What does X represent? So this is dividing a whole shape into, into portions. Sometimes they divide it like this instead. Eh? Boys and girls, sometimes they divide it like this instead. So they might say like 20%. And then they may say like... Um, I mean, let me say like 10% here and then 30% here or something like this. And then actually, what is the remaining 3% there? Them kind of thing. So look out for the look out for those questions. In this case, we have three parts after we took away 45 and 25. So 45 plus 25 is 45 and 25 is 70%. So after getting rid of 70% of the sheep. We have we have x x x three x's representing the missing 30 percent, right? Because 100 percent is the total sheep. It's definitely not drawn to scale eh? because 70 percent should finish like around here, and then you know, just have three tiny x's there. And anyhow, so if three x's represent 30, x represents 30 divided by three, which is 10 percent. So each one of those blocks make up 10 percent. Well done, chat. We're going real fast today. Hmm, let me see if we can finish in record time. Mrs. Ford is paying cash for the microwave and receives a 15% discount. 15% off. Let's work out what the discount is first. Because that's what I want us to calculate the discount. Eh? So 15, 850. We don't even need to get the, how much she paid afterwards. They just want us to calculate the discount. Um, and I'm dividing fives now. And then three by 85. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Is this going to give me a naughty number? All right, let me go brave. So 3 by 85, we can do that. 3 by 85, some of y'all can do that in your mind. And um, 3 8s are 24 plus, so 255. 255, good. 255 sounds good. Divided by 2. 255 divided by 2 is, yeah, 127.50, 127.50. 2 into 255. Into that 1, 2 into this 2, remainder 1, 2 into that 7, remainder 1, 2 into 10, 5. 1, 7, 1, 7, 1, 2, 7. 5, is correct. The, if you're not seeing it clearly, you know you need to raise the settings. Maybe you have some new people who don't know the drill, so they can just let them know if they ever put that comment. You raise these settings on your YouTube. <clears throat> the finishing line banner at a marathon is 4.8 meters long. So what is the question? Fine. What is its length in centimeters? Oh, so they want you to change meters to centimeters. To change meters to centimeters, you simply multiply by 100. Multiplying 4.8 by 100, we'll move the point 0.12 to the right. Yeah. So you end up with 480 centimeters. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other day, I was driving, and guess what I see? Where I see it by? I see it by... I think I see it by some food place. I see a Ramco chocolate. I see, <laughs> so I saw a Ramco chocolate with some gas, and I, saw, I passed, and I was like... And what you man has also, yes, cooking it around cookies. How, how many quarters, 25 cents, will Safa get in exchange for $10? Well, every $1 has 
four quarters. So how much will be in $10? Well, then it will be four times 10. So that's just a quick logical question to work out there with 25. Do, 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 do. Write one of the following symbols in the box below to make the number sentence correct. Well, we need to understand what this is. This number represents here by adding up. And I'm seeing that five and eight will give me something with like a three here. And then I'll have a five there. And then I'll have a two. So 2.53. So this really represents 2.53, which is more than 2.49. So what I'm looking to put is this sign we fondly know as the greater than. Hold up, hold up. How them I'm getting equal? I'm going to double check this. Eight and five. Now, nah, boy, eight and five is 13. Bring across the one. Yeah, what is all they doing? What is, what is them doing by Patrick, boy? What's our Patrick name star in here now, boy? Patrick bought the SEA Max handbook for this amount and later sold it for, what, boy, Patrick? How much profit did he make? Patrick. <laughs> Patrick is a businessman, bro. So 135.50 minus 119.95. So this was his cost price. This is a selling price, and we're subtracting to get the profit. So uh, we will, uh, la, 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 la. what in the world are we going to do here? So let's start take. Let's start what we call, used to call boring, but more like taking. So this is 14, and this is 10 here. So 5 from 10 is 5, four, 9 from 14 is another 5, and uh, I would need to take 1 from the 10s column again. So 9 from 14 is 5, a lot of 5s in this game, but 1, 0. So 15, $15.55, Patrick, what are you doing with that dust? What are you going to do with that 15 55, Patrick? The width of the rectangular field below is six centimeters the length l centimeters of the field is twice the width so six six calculate the area of the field the area b length times width to so six not six by six that six plus six is 12 so 12 sixes are 72 not centimeters but centimeters squared we love it <laughs> defamatory statements i would have kept it to revise yeah, by a routine, by a routine. People, the student have, does have Discord and that kind of thing, but I think I should wait until after exams to jump in those things. All right? Those of y'all who are familiar with me before the season, y'all know that during the July, August holidays, we have a gaming tournament, but we're not even going to talk about that until it's year done. We're not even going to talk about it until it's year done. So Janae bought stationary using the five bills below the cost of the stationary was 90 dollars right the missing value so we're looking to get 90 dollars and we need some bills here to add up well let's see how much we have so far 20 plus 50 plus 5 that's 80 that's 75 dollars that's 20 and 50 75 dollars yeah so what are we missing we're missing 15 dollars <clears throat> so you can hit them out 10 and a 5. Yeah, that's all you can hit them really. 10 and a 5. <clears throat> Ronelle is making juice for Christmas lunch. For every one liter of water, she uses 500 milliliters of juice mix. So she uses 3 liters of water. How many liters of juice mix? So she uses 1.5. Because it's a 1 to 0.5 ratio, it's a 1 to half ratio. So one to half, one liter, every one liter, she's going to use half a liter. Because we know 500 milliliters is half a liter. So we just really want to get half of three, which we know often is 1.5. So some of y'all can do that in your mind. Or, or you can do a bunch of different ways to solve it. Bunch of different ways. Some of y'all may have changed this to 1,000. So 1,000 to 500. And then you want 3,000 to what? What will go there? Well, you see now the relationship is half, half, say 1,500, uh, which is 1.5 liters. Now, it's important to watch the unit they want you to put the answer in. Eh? That is a legitimate trick in SE. So they can put milliliters, liters. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Tristan is facing east. He turns clockwise to face north. Through how many degrees did he turn? Clockwise to face north. I'll just 
Oh, they just forget that first I wrote that right there. <laughs> so he turned clockwise the face north. So he turned 270 degrees. 270 degrees. Clockwise a little. I personal in the beginning, which is anti-clockwise. Clockwise is the way the second hand, the way the minute hand, second hand, every hand on the clock turns this way, right? Um, so that's that's a 90 plus another 90. So 90 plus 90 plus 90. Three right angles, it's 270 degrees. You should know that offhand, but you can always work it out. Jediah awoke at quarter to seven, drawing the hands on the clock to show. All right, so the our hand should be a little past seven. Quarter to seven, not quarter past seven, quarter to seven. So the hour hand should be a little before seven, past six, right? Right, that's the most beautiful our hand I've ever seen in your life, and the minute hand should be pointing at nine to show that we have 15 minutes to go, and bang, it'll be seven o'clock. This is it right here. Don't get better than this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. So quarter two seven is six forty five. So that's what we really drawing there. Hmm, I can get a Nobel Prize for that drawing there. The mean of nine, twelve, and fifteen is the same as the mean of fourteen and some missing numbers. So let's just see what nine, twelve, and fifteen adds up to. You know what this mean thing? One of the fastest way to crack a mean question is to find the total. So let's just find the total. Hold up, did I make a bad yes? No, we good, we good. So 36 is the total. So we really want to say 36 minus 14 will give us what? Careful, eh? The mean of because I seen some weird things in the chat. The mean of 9, 12, and 15 is the, same, is the same as the mean of two numbers. It means that this second number will be pretty high because this time it needs two numbers just to make the mean, but this time there are three numbers. So A is actually 22 because I'll need to say if the total is 36, 36 minus 14 is 22, right? They didn't say 2A or anything, you know, people. It's just A. Watch out for that. The mean of 9, 12, and 15. I don't know why I've seen so many, so many wrong answers here. Or oh, did, did I, did I, that's not, hold on, eh? The mean of 9, did I get this wrong? The mean of 9, 12, and 15 is, I got this wrong. Way boy, I might not get to tell in this SEA if this was SEA. Because I was so confident. The mean of 9, 12, and 15 is 36 divided by 3. 3 numbers. So the mean is 12. Right? And if I want to get the mean of these two numbers to be 12, I should say 12 times 2 is 24. And then subtract. And I will get 10. Ooh, big ones, big ones, big ones. Let's go. So uh, what was the mistake last time? Because there were three numbers here and there were two numbers here. I just automatically subtracted and put the missing number there. But that can't work because this time there were actually two numbers. And as I was saying it, I began to see it. You see it? So the mean of these numbers turned out to be 12. And I want it to be the same as the mean of 14 and another number which means the other number must be 10 so that the mean would also be 12. It's a cake and ice cream question, eh? but you could slip up. You could slip up and choke on the cake. So number 20, the table below shows the number of toys donated by four classes in the charity. I guess since there are 84 toys, we want to realize how many of these, how many does that represent? So if you have 84 toys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, and these two come together to make 14. I just need to divide 84 by 14, guys. 14 circles in total. And that will tell me how much each circle is. So one circle will be 84 divided by 14, which is 6. I know that because 7 could go into 84 12 times. If it was 7, it would be 12. So 14 is 2 times 7, so 6. So 6 toys is the answer there. And we are now on number 21. Best way to do these questions is to change it into improper fraction. So 8, 6 is 48 plus 1 is 49 over 6. Divided by 2 by 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8 over 3. Now, to switch the division to multiply, it means you will do the reciprocal of the divisor, the second number. So now we can do a little crossy crosses. 8, 6 is uh, 48. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, if this is up to 3 into this 1, 3 into this 2. This is not pretty. So this is 49 over 16 in the end. And 16 can go into that how many times? 16 can go into that two times. Two, six is, uh, two 16 is uh, 32. 16 can go into that three times because there's 48 could sneak in there. 16 into that is three. Remainder one. And you can put the remainder over the divisor. So three and one sixteenth. Or 49 over 16. Let's just double check 16. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 3 and 1 16 sounds good. So I see um, some stuttering in the answers there, which making me want to just double check. So 8 by 6 is yes. Just remember to invert this. I think some people probably just didn't invert. Y'all inverting? Is the inverting here what smoking some people? Three and one sixteenth. Yeah, I see now that was three and one sixteenth now. Maybe they didn't invert. <clears throat> Ozil completed 54 practice tests. Sean completed 16 less than twice as many as Ozil. How many practice tests did they complete altogether? Well, here we have Ozil with 54, and we have Shawnee Boy with 16 less than twice as many as Ozil. So twice as many as Ozil will be 54 times 2, which is 108. Hey, 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 where that triangle come on from? 108. And 16 less than that is how much? Sean, the real practice test why Sean. How many practice tests you all think you all do in the last month? Anyhow, Sean put on some good numbers here. So 108 minus 16, 2, 92. So Sean do 92 practice tests for you. 92 practice tests. So hold on eh? The next, so like in this question, I would express the answers on mixed numbers since it was given to me as mixed numbers, right? See some people asking that instead of improper fractions. Improper fractions is using CXC and um, keep and think that's okay. But generally for SEA, they want you to bring it back down to a mixed number, especially if they give you it as a mixed number. How many all together? Well, we just need to add 92 plus 54. We get a 6 there. We get a 146. 146 tests. Somebody said they do 200 practice tests. Yes. What? Is that cap? Is that person wearing on a cap? <laughs> For every five book reports that Selena completes, Brianna completes seven. All right. So every five for Selena. We have Brianna hitting them seven out the pack. Now, these questions, it's usually the idea to group them up to get how much in one group. Let's see if I'm correct. So that's 12. Brianna eventually completes 56 book reports. Um, nah, I don't need to group it up in this case. If we, I just need to see how much, how many, how many, um, Groups of seven exist in 56. Yeah? Calculate how much Selena did. Well, the, um, Brianna did 56 divided by seven equal eight groups of seven. 
But every seven that Brianna do, Selena will be competing five. But Brianna did eight groups of seven. So see, Selena, Selena will be doing eight groups of five. So Selena is eight times five, which is 40 uh, books, book reports. Mrs. Ali purchased a roll of ribbon for her three daughters. Okay, three daughters. The eldest cut two and a quarter of ribbon from the roll. The middle cut one and a three fifths meters piece, and the youngest cut three and one third meters long from the ribbon. Calculate the difference in length between the shortest and longest piece of ribbon. All right, this is the shortest. And this is the longest. And they want us to calculate the difference. One of the ways we can do this is do the whole number and fractions separately. And that's, I think, the most popular way. As we had did a lot of questions over the last, what, 12 weeks? So we would say whole 3 minus 1 is 2. And then the fractions, uh, one third minus three fifths. And it looked like I may have to steal one from across there, you know. Um, one third and three fifths are a common numerator, common denominator, sorry, of 15. And three can go into that five times. So this is five. Five can go into that three times. So this is nine. So this is a problem because I have, let's separate it. I have five fifteenths minus nine fifteenths. So this is bigger. So I can't get the subtraction to go good. So what I'll do is uh, take one from the whole. So the whole comes down to, to one. And this additional one transforms into 15 out of 15. Why is in the chat if you know that? So this is 15 out of 15 that's going to be added to this fraction. So this fraction gets a boost of 15, which means this is 20. Let's write it in a new line. This is 20 out of 15 minus 9 out of 15 which is 11 fifteenths. So the answer is 1 and 11 fifteenths. Another way to do it is to change it into improper fractions and then do the LCM and then break it down and ping, 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 pop, pop, pop. 36 assignments were... Y'all, how many likes yet? We crossed 300 likes yet? 36 assignments were given out on a weekly basis by the mathematics teacher over a period of nine months. This maths teacher giving out 36 assignments a week that must be nice i teach a lot of classes and we don't give other amount assignments in, at least in my classes maybe in the entire of the student hub now that would be like half for the entire of the student hub but that's a lot of that's a lot of assignments <laughs> over the over a period of nine months soraya submitted the first three assignments and then did not submit the one given the next week this pattern was repeated throughout the nine months. How many assignments did Saraya submit? Well, we're assuming nine months is going to be equal to nine times four, which is 36 weeks, right? So we just get any number of weeks to go with. And Saraya submitted the first. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing now, see, now this is 36 assignments and I read the question wrong. He didn't give out 36 assignments every week. He gave out 36 assignments over the course of the nine months, over the period of nine months. So, okay, fine, fine, fine. So, I submitted the first three assignments, then did not submit the one given me next week. So, so, so Raya is going three. How many of you all hand up assignments like that? The first three, submit, next one, not submit. Three, submit, next one, not submit. Three submit, next one not submit, uh, next one not submit. This pattern was repeated throughout the nine months. How many assignments did Sarah submit? Well, if you really look at it, for every four assignments, Sarah is only submitting three out of four. For every four assignments, she's only making three out of four. So what the question is really asking us is to find the assignment submitted which will be three out of four of the total number of assignments there. 
Nine trees are 27 assignments. We love it. We love to see it. Number 26. Write in the box below the sign greater than or less than that correctly completes the number sentences. Two thirds greater than four sevenths. I think it is. I think it is, but we can verify. Two thirds, four sevenths. Yeah, man. So two thirds is greater than four sevenths for sure, for sure. If we get the LCM here, we get 21. Three can go into the seven times. Seven, two, the 14. Seven can go into the... Sh <gasps> three times. So three by four is 12. So yeah, it's greater. It's greater. 14 is greater than... So this one is greater than that one. Find the difference between two. Two thirds and four sevenths. Oh, there's a part B. Well, 14 over 21 minus 12 over 21 is the same as two over 21. You, uh, somebody said they recognizing people from the first session. People from the first session here. Yeah? Alison, big up yourself. A cinema has 400 seats. 95% of the seats were occupied from the screening of Batman. If a ticket costs $45, how much money was collected for the screening? Well, 95% of 400 is 95 times 4. And 95 times 4 is close to 400. But there's a missing 5, 4 times, so it's like 380. I mean, you can double check it. 36 plus 2 is 380. So this is not how much money, because this is just how much, how many tickets. So the number of, the amount of money we're going to earn on that, let's take our time and multiply it. 380 times 45, 400, 32, 3, 4, 3 is 12, 15. 5, 0, 0, 5, 8, 40. But the 4, 5, 3 is 15 plus 4 is 1, 9. Yes. So 0, 0, 1. 7, 1. And there's no decimal point to bring back or anything. So this is 17,001. Not bad, cinema. Not bad. 17,000. 17,100, actually. Stay the number pattern below. So I'm thinking that it's going up by 4, but then it went up by 6 here. Maybe not enough to really constitute a number pattern, but my best guess is that it will go up by 8 again. Then it will go up by 10. And then it will go up by 12. And let's see if I'm correct. Either this is 20, 30, and 12 is 42. Yes, boy. This is good. So this is goodness. This is goodness and mercy following me. So what is the eighth number in this pattern? The eighth number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, then I need to say 42 plus. It's going to be plus 14. And then plus 16. So 14 and 16 is 30. So 42 plus 30 is 70. You all understand that quick maths day? Quick maths. <laughs> you just keep adding on the numbers. You can work it out. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I, are they getting a different answer? Are they getting a different? Wait, I could probably, 42 plus 72, 72. Are you ready to? Are you ready today? Whoops. We had 400 likes. Yeah, boy. Let me see if we can get the 500 for real now, yeah? Yes, I made a mistake here. I left only two and I was adding. So I put 30 and 42 is 70. It should be 72. Sorry about that. So Arian bought a game controller for 750 and sold it to make a pro. Oh, all these students are making profits here, boy. Arian, Patrick, everybody. So profit of 50%. So what was the selling price? So let's work on what's 50% of that first. So the profit... It's going to be 50% of the 750. Zoop, 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 zoop. So 5 by 75. 5 7 is that 35 plus 2, 3, 75. That making sense. Oh, oh yes. I'm running out of steam, boy. This is the last session. Ah, 
Five by five is 25. Five sevens are 35 plus two. All right, 375. 375. If they say so, Alia. If they say so. Yeah, 375 is the profit. So how much are you really selling this for? 750 plus 375, which is five and two and 14. So who going on my game controller for one thousand four hundred and twenty-five dollars, buddy? Arian mean thing to that selling. So here we have the line of symmetry, and this line of symmetry is diagonal. And, and parents, students, I'm speaking to you all last week, what about the last week session? I, I gave lots of hints in that session, lots of tips. I'm seeing that students are getting the diagonal ones wrong, way. So. Um, it helps if you would come and position yourself here and watch the paper like this. So you just turn the paper slightly. And then you would see some kind of shape like, you kind of guesstimate the shape for now. Some kind of something like that would have to take place to kind of mirror up everything. And once you understand that, you, you shouldn't get it wrong. So you can count the blocks going in the proper direction now. So one, two, three, four, five. Well, then we are looking for one, two, three, four, five going this way. One, two, three, four, five. And then it came back this way too. So it'll come back this way. Some people just totally make a mess of this. Did I add a wrong? Oh, there should be one. Thanks for clearing that up, guys. How did I get 14 there? I was going too fast. I was going too fast among them. Why did I say 14? Maybe I see the one and the three, and I say 10, and then I say four in my mind, and I just put 14. It's interesting to know all the time why you make a mistake. So that should be one. And that's a silly, silly mistake. So, all right. So we have that like that. And then we going across here, well, this will be going across by right three. Use your ruler when you're doing this, eh? And one, two, three, one, two, three. And this should join up cutting through there. So, um, pair <laughs> so parents, watch out for these questions with the diagonal. If you can get a few more to give students, let's say make sure that they have it clear because in the past papers, most of the times they're bringing it like this now with this. But once or twice, there is the diagonal line of symmetry, and then even top students who gain 90 something, 100, and then gain that one wrong. And that, that's good, my heart. I know I'm not tired. I'm not tired. After work one evening, Justin took a 20 minute stroll to the taxi stand and a 30 minute ride home. If Justin arrived home at this time, at what time did he leave work? Well, 20 minute stroll, 30 minutes. So he took 50 minutes. In transit all together. So if you took 50 minutes all together, I want to do a little subtraction, guys. So I'll say 425 minus 50. Um five. Um hold up, 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 hold up. You have a little problem here. If I cross all this, I can just bring across a one. So, and, and this is 25 minutes and 50 minutes. So when I'm crossing out, I'm going to say like, this is three, and I'm going to stay woke and say that's 60 minutes. And you're bringing across, they're bringing across a whole 60 day earlier. So, all right, that's 60 and 25, that's 85 minutes. So this is actually 85 take away 50. I can do that in my mind. 85 take away 50 is 35. This is 335. And I can always double check my answer by adding back adding back the 50 minutes and see if it works out, work out to the original. 32, the side of each, I see some people say 325, eh? So you check on yourself before they wreck on yourself. The side of each square on the following grid is three centimeters. Complete each of the following statement. The area of one square grid is nine centimeters. If this is three and this is three, Area here is nine centimeters. Right? Three by three is nine. Part B, the total shaded area is 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's 9 times 14, which is what? You all get that? So the area of one square is nine centimeters. So you have three, the side of each square, yes, three by three is nine centimeters. The total shaded area on the grid, we get 14, yeah? So nine by 14, all right. Nine by 14, so nine plus 36, three, nine ones. Nine, one, 26 sounds good. Yes, and nine by 14 is 126, 14 tick. 140 take away 14 is 126. So 126 centimeters squared. Number 33, another mean question. A mean question. It's 15 squares. How many? Did I leave all this square here? Oh my gosh, I leave in all lots of lots of things, boy. Or is it? Or is it that I've seen if you're is it that I'm checking if you all are paying attention? Let me call it that. I'm checking to see if you all are paying attention. <laughs> You all count these squares good, eh? So what I tell the students to do is put a dash on each square that you're counting. So I did that just now. So it was easy for me to see the square that was le uh, left uh, I left out. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So they, I knocked out those two and 15. So last time there was nothing on this square. So this is 15 times 9 now. 15 times 9, let's put a 5 there. Let's bring a 4 this time. And 9 ones, and they get 1 to the 5 is the, is the correct answer for this one. Watch it, watch it, watch it. <laughs> Jeez, boy. The mean of six numbers is 80. Four of the numbers are boom, bang, bing, boom. So how do you work out these mean questions? The idea with mean question is to find the total. So 80 times 6 is, since the mean is, since the mean is 80 and there are 6 numbers, 80 times 6 will be 480. Um, and what are the two missing numbers if one of the missing numbers is 4 more than the other? So we can, we'll sort out this part afterwards, but let's find out how much is missing first. So let's add up these guys. So 90 plus 95 plus 74 plus 67. That's going to give us, and you all double check this because apparently today is a real hot day. <laughs> things, where things are happening today, class. Let me double check it again. So 7 and 4 is 11 plus 5 is 16 and I brought across the 1. This is 10, this is 19, this is 26, and this is 32. So 326 is the how much we have so far. So this is so far. All the numbers or, or four numbers add up to that. This is the total, by the way. So the two missing numbers should be 480 minus 326, which is 451. 154. Now, by the way, the Proper solutions written up. I, I'm kind of brainstorming here and showing you all how to think and going through the questions that are pretty fast to read. But those of you all who signed up for the class and signed up for the Sunday revision extra practice, you all would have gotten this paper on Monday and all the solutions for all the papers are in the drive. So you can see the proper way how to write it up to score the best marks in SEA, right? So there are 154. So one of the missing numbers is four more than the other. So it's like a block block, but then there's four. So I have to remove this excess four. So I'll say 154 minus four, removing the excess is 150. So this is removing excess. So now that the excess is gone, I can just say 150 divided by two. 150 divided by two is 75. So we have 75 What are the two missing numbers? So one of the numbers will be 75 and one will be 79. 
because the other number must be four more than this. So this is 75. This one is 75. When I add back on the excess, I'll get 79 as one of the numbers. So 75, 79, and you can always double check by adding up everything and seeing if it works out. Um, Azara, uh, hey, look at Azara, boy. Azara bought a large box of fruits. We nearly reached 500 likes. Stop. Everybody on the stream yet who didn't press like, close the live chat now. Press like, and let me see if we can make that 500 likes. That would be awesome. As I bought a large box of fruits with some apples and pears in the box, this snap the great thing is annoying. So now object snapping into shape. So yes, yeah, she have pears and apples, and the total weight of everything was 12 kg and 600 grams. What was the weight of the pears? Is the box contain? Okay, well, we need to subtract the weight of the apples, I guess, to find the pears. Uh, this is apples. So I would need to take one from the kilogram so it becomes 11. And now I'll add on 1,000 to this. So this is 1,600. Excuse me. So 1,600 minus 655. This should be 945. Okay, verify. Verify that for me. 1,600 minus 655 is 945. So 945 and 11, reach 500 likes, well done, reach, reach, big up, big up, congratulations. So 11 minus 7 is how much, guys? Catch back to the question. So this is 4. So we have 4 kg and 945 grams. I don't want you to put 4.945 anywhere. You need to write it in how they have the answers here. So part B, how many pairs did the box contain if the weight of one pair is 215 grams? Well, I need to change this to grams and start. Oops, whoop, 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 whoop. This, is the, this is the weight of the pairs. Yes, 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 yes. So I need to change that to grams and bust a, bust a divide on them nearly. So this is 4. 945 grams divided by 215 grams and something tell me could go exactly yeah, but um let's try some simple let's try some simple breaking down to see what can happen here um what looks like well five look like the obvious thing so five can go into this 43 wow so So is it that 43 goes exactly into that? Anyhow, five can go into this. Nine, two, nine, two, nine. Is it that you want me to divide 43 into this? That's a strange division. Uh, five, 5 into this 4, yes, 43. And 5 can go into this 9 times, remainder 4. 5 can go into this 8 times, remainder 4, 9, 8, 9. Uh, 4 and 3. Uh, this is yucky. All right. Fine, let me go brave. Everybody's saying the answer is 23. So 43 into 989. 43 into this is 2. Remainder, 43 times 2 is 86. So 98 minus 86 is 2 and 1. 12, 1, 2, 9. And this is 3. I can see that. Four trees are 12 and Three trees are nine. Yeah, so 23 is correct. But this was an awkward division here because it's 43. Is that a prime number? I think it's a prime number. To divide into this was not fun. Not fun at all. But we done it. But we did it. We on 600 likes. What are you? Uh, some, somebody farming likes outside here. 
So <laughs> complete the table below with the correct names of solids or plain shapes to match the description given below. So you all give me what one, two, and three is real fast. One, two, and three. And it's a plain shape or solid, so anything. Three sides, all of which are unequal. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure, that is uh, an right. It as soon as I see it. In fact, I'll shout what the person I see first um, with it. Anybody? Scaling. So we have a scaling here. Uh, three faces, three faces, two edges, and zero vertices. Three faces. two edges and zero vertices. This is tricky. So be careful. It's looking like none other than... So anytime you say three faces and you start to think solid, them little bit of faces, like if they say one face, what's that? That's like a sphere. Two, two faces is like a cone, but three faces. One of them is a curved face. And you have two edges and no pointy parts. No vertices. That has to be a cylinder. That was a tough one, man. What do you think? I feel like that, oh, that was easy for y'all. Opposite sides are equal in length and parallel. All angles are right angle. So the opposite sides are equal. So maybe like this. And they're parallel. And all of them are right angles. That's none other than our good friend, the rectangle. That we good friend. That we, that we personal friend. <laughs> 350 students are to be seated in a school auditorium for the morning assembly. You all sit down for assembly or you all stand up for assembly? I'm going to sit down and think, boy. Oh, boy. There were 18 rows in primary school. We had to stand up. There were 18 rows of chairs with 14 chairs in each row. How many extra rows of chairs are needed to sit these students? Well, let's see. We have 18 times 14. I'm getting 252. So let's check it over. We practice it. We check over game. 1 by 18. 4 by that is 2, 32. So I put the 2 there. 4 by 8 is 32. And I bring the 3 there. Uh, 4 by 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. Great. And then I add up nicely, so I get 252. 2, 8, and 7 is 15, and I brought an extra 1 there, so 252. Well, it seems like some students still standing up, boy. 350 minus 252. But don't feel too bad, I used to have to stand up too. Now, I can do this in my mind. I know this is 98, because if this was 50, it would have been 100. So if I take out a little 2 from the 100, day, 98, right? So... I really want to see, well, there are 18 rows, but each row has 14. So I really want to see how much times 14 could go into 98. How many times can 14 go into 98? 98 divided by 14 is how much? How will you do it? I'll look at step one. What's the fastest way to divide this? Just know it. Um, what I'm thinking in my mind that helped. Yeah, is 7 plus 84 and add 14. So I know this was 6 plus another one. So that's that's how my mind thought of it. Breaking this down, I may I may try I may try the two first. Two might be a little easier. So two into this, I would get four, one, nine, and two into this, I'll get seven, and seven can go into this seven times. Yeah, that's what I guess most people may have done. We on thirty-eight. How are we going? How are we thirty-seven? Yeah, we on thirty-seven. How are we going for time, people? The standard five class. The standard five class, wait now, reach nine K subs. What? The standard five class sold snack. How much time I can say the standard five class? Sold snack boxes to raise some funds. Each snack box had two slices of cake 
and uh, three pies. So pie, 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 and two slices of cake. Yummy, cake and ice cream. So 140 slices of cake were used in these snack boxes. Okay. Excuse me, Adam. I, I have to make a big yawn there. The price of one slice of cake is four dollars. All right, and the price of one pie is three dollars. Calculate the total number of pies used in the snack boxes. Well, bro, hear what they tell me. Well, you hear what they tell me. For every two slices of cake, we have three pies. So if I have one hundred and forty slices of cake. That really represents how many snack boxes? Because two slices in a snack box. This really represents 140 over 2 equal 70 boxes. And 70 boxes times 3 will tell me the number of pies I have. So pies will be 70 times 3, which you can look out in your mind. 210. 7 trees are 21. Go back to zero. So 210 pies. And uh, where they want to go with this? How much money did the class make by selling all these snack boxes? Well, each box, each box has, I already know there are 70 boxes. I will go with that number, right? Each box has two slices of cake and um, three pies? Three pies. Parents, um they could adopt my mathematical style of thinking but you may want to keep your children away from my <laughs> handwriting <laughs> two slices of cake and three pies so two slices of cake and three pies where was i going with this oh yeah one slice of cake costs four dollars and one piece of pie costs three dollars so this is two times four plus three times three Pie was three dollars, yeah. So this is eight plus six, so this is fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars for a box. So seventy boxes. I could say seventy times fourteen. So fourteen dollars for a box. Am I doing this properly? Eight and six. Yeah, that's my incorrect. Um, seven fours are. 28 and 7 by 1 plus 2. I'm not I'm not get I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that proper value there. Let me just make sure I do the right thing. Eh, boy? How much money did the class make by selling all these snack boxes? There are 70 boxes, 140 slices. Da, 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 da. The price of one slice of cake is four dollars, and the price of one pie is three dollars. So I am seeing three, 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 three. Did I say three by two is six? Oh my gosh. This is nine. So this is 17. Oh, I short took it in this class. So this is 17. So I actually want 17 times 70. So seven by seven. Yeah, I smell the rat when I start to do the multiplication. So se 7 by 7, this looks good. That's right, let me check 70. 3 pies, 2 slices of cake. Yes, $17. Very good, very good, very good. So Ramco gas like it run, like it finally running out. So 0, 7 by 7 is 49, 49. Uh, let's bring the four this time and seven by one is seven plus so one one nine zero is sounding like we back on the Ramco gas trail there yeah yeah I'm very glad you all paid attention now this question here seems to be beating people and getting people licks all over the place so pay attention to this question do, 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 do. Identical poles are placed on a straight line at an equal distance from each other, as shown below, to support the wire. What wire? I guess 
at eight, eight, eight meters. So if you have 168 meters of wire, how many poles would be needed? Yeah, add one to get the poles, right? Because if I have eight meters of wire, that's eight divided by eight is one, but I still need two poles. I need a first and last pole. So I always add one to the pole. So even if I get 168 divided by eight, eight could go into this 21 times. That's 21 spaces. But I need an additional pole. 21 plus 1 equals 22 poles. However, if it was if it made a circle like this, if it was coming back around in a circle or a, a any shape, as a matter of fact, if it was enclosed, as long as the region enclosed, you don't need to add one. You got it? So if the width of each pole is 1.5. What the pole have with two by? What kind of fat pole is this way? You know how fat you have to be as a pole to have 1.5 meters? Whatever. What is the distance from the first pole to the last pole needed to support the wire? So the total distance will be 22 times 1.5. That's the width of the poles. Plus... The space is 21 times, what's the space? Eight. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> I've seen some interesting comments there. That's what I'm laughing at. So 1.5 times 22 is this, like this, three, three, 33. 33, because when I bring one, it'll be zero. And 21 times 8 is, well, we already know this. One hundred and sixty-eight. So we just need to. We already know the length of the wires. One hundred and sixty-eight, actually, because we had this from the first part. Uh, we just need to add the width of all these poles. The width of all these poles. Let me double check because again, I, again, the GBs here. The pole is really one point five identical poles as shown. If we have 168 meters of wire, how many poles would be needed? 160 divided by 8, 21, 22, right, right, right. 22 times 1.5, 33. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, notice how I speed in through the multiplication and thing, right? I used to go slow with this in the first revision session, but now I'm expecting that you all know to do it. Um, we have 168. Everything seeming right, although I'm feeling like my spidey sense tingling again. 168 plus 33. Uh, so 8 and 3 is 11. Bring across the 1. You'll get 10 here when you add up everything. So I'm getting 201 meters. Uh, yeah, everybody getting that as well? 201 meters. Last two questions of the revision sessions, people. I think we do this one in the record time. There, there were 450 people at an amusement park. Of these were 100 and, uh, sorry, of these were one third adults. Something weird with that English. And the others were children. So two thirds, one third adults. This is one of the crazy fractions question. I just have people crying and thing. Children. All right, there were twice as many girls as boys. The number of women was equal to half the number of boys. How many men? Okay, this is one of those chain up questions, boy. So I guess we need to go bit by bit. So, so let's get the number of children. I, I need to write my statement properly in this to follow myself. So the children would be two thirds times 450. Three into 150. So this is 300. 300 children. And there were twice as many girls as boys. So I'll already, so I already want to take away the boys because I'm not going to use it in the next sentence, right? Yeah. So if there are twice as many girls as boys, I immediately know the number of boys must be 100. Because this is, a, this is in a ratio of two girls to one boy. So the number of boys is one over the three parts, you understand? So the number of boys is one third of the 
300 children that they are. And one pill of 300 is 100. Why is in chat if you're good so far? So there are 100 boys. So we got this. The number of women was equal to half the number of boys. So the number of women, half of 100, I don't need to think about that. It's 50. So how many men were the amusement park? Well, this is easy. Since one third of two answers, all again, yeah, man, all in correct, all in correct land, all in correct land. Um, adults. Since one third of the people were adults, and one third of four fifty is one fifty, then the number of men would be equal to one fifty minus the fifty, which is one hundred men. Nice, 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 nice. So CXC, not CXC, SEA brought, they bring these kind of questions like once every two, three years, you'll see a question when that kind of, this, do this, do this, do this, do this. And sometimes they mix it up with percentages too. 120 students chose their favorite sport. One third preferred fit football, five twelve cricket, and one sixth tennis. And the rest, track and field. You're already missing bars. So I need to I need to organize up myself here, boy. I need to lock the, I need to secure the bag here. Finish strong. So if, let's do the football. Football is one third of 120. And 120 is such a beautiful number. No sweat without 120. So I'm trying to write 40 there, people. 40, so football going up to 40. As love. That is lovely. Um, so football is love. And then 512 is cricket. That's correct. And then one sixth is tennis. So tennis. We already do cricket for we. One sixth is tennis. So one sixth of 120. And that's like half of this. So that you're clear that this is going to be 20. So now, by the way, you don't need to, you, you must use ruler. No, no free hand thing here. You didn't wait five years of your life. You didn't spend seven years in primary school to come and draw in your big exam free hand. Eh? Organize on yourself. And the rest, so this was love. This was blessings. Love and blessings. And track and field now. The rest is track and field. Uh, there's another way you could do all this. Instead of summing up all and any remainder, we can see like this is 40. This is 50, this is 20, and we know there are 120 in all. So 40 plus 50 plus 120, that's 40 plus 50 plus 20 is 110. So all together we have 110, so 120 minus what we have so far, which is 110, gives us 10 more. So we need 10 more for the track and field. So that was love, that was blessings, and this was till I see you again. <laughs> This is 10. And then we can double check to make sure we on the right part. We on the part of righteousness here. 10 and 50 and that's 100 plus 20, 120. Draw the missing. And you need to show the working. To show you. Hey, it's a little piece here. We nearly miss. Well, you make sure and check the paper properly and then leave out no questions. Eh? I think to hot, hot your heart and thing. Which two sports are going to represent 50%? So how we could get them to add up to 60? Because 120 students and all that. So if we could get it add up to 60, that'll mean 50%, which two adding up to 60 here, guys. I could say football and tennis. Football and tennis. Or I can say cricket. Big up the fighters one time. I could say cricket. I'm an eye for cricket, boy. And track and field. Right? Any one of those two would work to make up 50%. Uh, see, I see you doing a lot of these style of questions. Also, I think we, in these last 12 sessions, we exhausted nearly every single area in SCA. One style of questions, as, as I was checking over that we didn't too much exhaust, is every now and then they will ask parents to do a kind of explanation question, like explain why this person got the answer wrong, and they show you he says wrong answer or something like that. So they should know how to put the anything that they do, any single working that you do, you should know how to put it in words. You should know how to explain it. So something to help with that is in this last little week as you're going through here, you can sometimes pick up an accent, explain the logic, explain the um, 
the operations, the algorithm, the, the steps, how you got your answer, how you got the correct answer. So if there's any explanation questions in the exam, you should be good to go. But anybody who put in good effort into the last 12 sessions, the last 12 sessions were made to strongly resemble what usually comes in the SEA exam, you all should be good. Love and blessings, people. Shout out time. Shout out time. Dun, 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 dun. How many of you all were here from the first, first, first session? Dum, 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 dum. So scrolling through, let me see if anybody have a nice little paragraph here. Sarai John has a nice little paragraph here. So Sarai, you would be going into secondary school. Sarai John, you can reach out to me at this number that I'm going to put here on the banner. Where is it? 472-4221, WhatsApp me at that number. You'd, you'd get an admin. You wouldn't get me directly. And let them know that you want a calculator and yes, see a solution. So I'm giving you a nice little calculator here. You may not be able to use it that much in form one, two, and three, but definitely by the time it's form four and form five, you'll be using it a lot. This calculator is really strong, it lasts very long. That will last up until university, and it's a really good calculator. So, Sarai, bless up yourself. To the SCA students, good luck this Tuesday. If you don't get your first choice, that's okay. Just go to school and show them that you was watching Queen's bring our videos. You got this. You all are fighters. Blessings. Loving these, these long ones. Thanks for, so for taking time out. You're welcome. We mash up the exam on Tuesday. We all got this. Nice, nice, nice. Big up all the fighters. Ting, ting, ting. Yep, yep, yep. Fighters from the start. Add it here, big up, Mr. Vance, big up, you're welcome, so I'm just clicking out, we reached 90k subscribers as well, somebody said that, and I, I can't see it here, but I'll go and check just now, that's nice, soon 100k, by the time CXC reach around, we should be at that 100k. Blessings, everybody. I hope this helped you to appreciate and enlarge your understanding of mathematics and how to think of things critically, which is one of the um, one of the big flaws we see in secondary school. So, which is one of the reasons I got into SEA maths. It's not only about just memorizing certain things, and you should you should have a, a curiosity. Uh, no one knows where the student hub is, Arian. It's like Neverland. No, no one can know what the student hub is. You have to see it for yourself. Dun, 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 dun. No one can be told. Uh, Azara, yo, Alia, blessings in SEA exam. <clears throat> remember what you're feeling now don't count it as nervousness count it as excitement this is the first time you're going to be doing something this big an exam this big a placement exam this big so don't feel nervous be excited and you all will be doing well you all prepared a lot i pray that everything that you learned or learned remember i teach maths so i really know what's going on in the english department everything that you learned will come everything that you learn will come and you're, you're going to hit them for six out of the park no mistakes no mistakes crew no mistakes no multiplying three by three and getting six <laughs> none of that all the mistakes out of your system you're remembering everything and you would be working fast your statements will be neat 
And when results come out, I want to see some people from this crew in the top 100 and thing in C S E um S E A. All right, I hang around long enough. Enjoy the rest of your week. It's gonna be one for the books. Pull it out.